Oh, geez, you can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing and teaching. Well, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Cue cards. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about featuring my Aunt Nancy in today's video. She's 77, she's bold, she's fierce, and she is very unapologetic about her life and about her choices. And I thought she'd be such a great example to bring up on my channel because it's just not about beauty and it's not just about vanity. She went through a very, very scary diagnosis recently within the last year. And I felt like this was like so perfect to share with you because I went through the whole IVF, wasn't expecting it, you know, spent four years, you know, just going through such a very, very difficult time. And it really helped a lot of women when I came out and shared it. So my aunt was diagnosed with a malignant tumor in her orbital eye area. Hence why my surgery was so important last June when I had the tumor growing in my orbital eye area also, but mine was a benign neurofibroma. So this was something that we shared similar. We share the same white stripe in our hair. We share a lot of things. She's also a SAG actress. She's had some really cool parts in movies. She was Tom Hanks's mother in Splash. She's done lots of catalog. I've showed you her Lily Pulitzer stuff, which was really fun, very vintage on my Instagram. So I just thought she would be such a great inspiration of what she went through, how she told herself that she could get through it, how it changed her beauty, how she had a different reflection on who she was and, and really realizing how strong she really was to get through all the radiation and to really, you know, be faced with losing her eye. And, you, you know, it was just really quite devastating to, to not know what was going to happen, how much of their, of her face they were going to have to take. And it was very scary for all of us. So I wanted to feature her. I think it's wonderful. Again, ladies, this is my second series of fierce aging, and I hope you're inspired and it's time to get this beauty started. Okay. Yeah. Um, after several failed attempts at opening my tear duct, um, which was with a little tube down there for months at a time, um, unsuccessfully, um, I noticed something growing in that area. And lo and behold, it was a malignant tumor in the orbit of my eye emanating from the area of the tear duct. Um, as scary as that was, the cancer diagnosis, um, we found wonderful doctors in Miami and I had a six and a half hour um, surgery to remove it. Um, two doctors um, uh, prepared me for losing my eye. And happily, I didn't. And after um, a year and what, 15, 16 mm -hmm. months of recovery, um, I'm looking normal again, and Nikki's gonna make me beautiful. So we're <laughs> excited to do that. I'm gonna just start with the skincare because I was asking my aunt, what kind of skincare are you using now? And with through radiation, your skin does change, and I wanted to ask her, and then what'd you tell me? A mishmash. I, I don't know. Good good products, right? <laughs> yeah, here and there, what have you. They're so expensive. I mean, Exactly. You know. So you're kind of like all over the place on the vanity and you're not really having a protocol. I'm just going to, for the ladies to know what I would suggest to give you a simple protocol. Cause I know as we are getting older, we don't want to have 10 steps. It's just not really realistic. So I'm just going to pull in the products that I've mentioned before. This is a gentle purifying cleanser. It's a salicylic cleanser. So you're going to be able to get exfoliation, cleansing the skin, but it's gonna really prep your skin for your next steps. So this is what I've been using for like the last three years. I keep going back to it. Do you use it with your hands? Yes. I mean, uh, just okay. a little bit, it, cause it's concentrated. So I use a tiny little bit and then I rub it in my hands and then I put it on my face, get a little bit of water and then I rinse it off. For your eyes too? Nope, not, not your eyes, just around okay. your face, right? Then you just splash it off. Then 
I'm actually gonna use this on you. This is the Reveal Biomedic Peel Pads. This is really nice because it's a fast step to be able to exfoliate your skin. So we wanna brighten your skin. We wanna help with any pigmentation. This is nice because mm -hmm. it has caviar lime in it. It has azelaic acid. So it's going to be very gentle on your skin, which is what you want. You don't want anything aggressive being going through no. what you did. Well, and it's still so sensitive. Yes. I mean, really sensitive. So we wanna keep that factor in mind when we're using products that aren't gonna to be too aggressive on your skin. So this is just a pad. I just wanna take this, it's gonna really just prep your skin. So you do this every morning. You can do it at night. I like to do it in the morning. So you're gonna just take the pad and you're just gonna rub it. And you can take it on your um, your neck too, on your decollete. Just be gentle over here. I wanna do this, this is a little different. Well, the, the incision goes from here to here and from there over to there, as you can see. Yeah. So this is gonna be nice because it's going to just remove the dead skin, but you're not having to use like a granular exfoliant that's gonna be harsh on your skin, especially in that area there. So this is a really nice, easy, fast, just to give you, you'll start seeing brightness when you consistently use this. That's what I wanna be, is brighter. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then, this is a really nice, um, this is called a moisture injection cream. So as we age, you know, our skin gets drier and I want you to have a little bit of moisture. This is gonna prep your skin too for... Um, oh yeah, I know all about skin dryness. Your makeup. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on your face and then we'll rub it in. Another thing too is that you do want to um, use a Q-tip or you wanna use something other than your finger into your jar just for just bacteria reasons, you know? You know those little spoons that come with some yes, of them? You, yes. What a pain in the neck they are. So, yeah, I, I, so I guess Q-tips would be a, a really, I mean, that's... Yeah, because then I mean, you just and have then just enough. Well, and they're sterile. Right. Too, rather right than having to wash that little spoon. Right, exactly. So this is gonna be nice. It's just gonna inject, like the name of it is, inject moisture into the skin. So it'll prep us, your, your foundation's gonna go on really nice and it'll hydrate this, just this area in here. Again, I'm not putting any chemicals, as in gly glycols, parabens, phthalates, fragrance in this skincare line, which is why I brought it into the studio. Mm -hmm. So um, you're not adding that. It's something you don't obviously wanna do, especially with what you went through. And then I'm gonna show you the Retinol Eye Wrinkle Smoother. I know you're gonna love this because I know you're not doing anything on your eyes there. Um, this is going, this is going to be a metal applicator, so it's nice and cooling on your face. And then I'm gonna just, wow. see how it just yeah. goes like that? And then you can put it on the area here. Little crow's feet, is yeah. that what they're called? Yeah, and doesn't it feel good though? Like the, mm -hmm. that nice cooling metal. Yeah. You can massage it into the eye area here. There's two other products that you, that's your base right now. You have the cleanser, the exfoliator, and the hydrator, right? You can put on your Sun SPF later, whatever your favorite one is. Um, if you're wearing a tinted moisturizer, you will have the SPF, but this is a really nice product for you, the overnight facial cellular oil, because it has retinol in it. So it's gonna help with cellular renewal for your skin at night. It's kind of like it works for you. It's like multi-purpose, right? You wake up and you have like hydrated <laughs> skin. You're very happy. It smells um, like rose, which is my favorite. So this is a great power treatment to use three times a week, right? So it's not complicated. It's just you're treating your skin, right? It's like a Every treatment. Night? No, like three times a week. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I wasn't. Like three times a week. But you know, yeah. you can add it into your moisturizer if you want to, or just wear it alone if you have if you feel like you need more moisture. Wow. And then this is nice to do. It's called Glowify. It's a brightening mask. You want to brighten your skin. That's what you have been telling me before. You wanted brighter skin, you have pigmentation. It's a really great mask to do to treat your skin. You can do it once a week. See, that's another thing. With the radiation burns, they never went away. Mm -hmm. See the dark places there? Oh yeah, just a little yeah. bit. But yeah, if we're consistently using products that mm -hmm. are gentle on the skin, you'll see it lightening. It's not gonna be instant though. All right, first I'm gonna start off with my eye and lip primer. This is my favorite product ever. This is going to neutralize your eye area. So your eyes have redness, darkness, and this is going to help set the found, or the eyeshadow all day. Is this like a concealer? Yep, it's mm -hmm. basically like a concealer for the eye, mm -hmm. but you're gonna see that your eyeshadows will go on very true. So it's not competing with the darkness, the redness that you already have on your lids. So we're gonna do that. Close. Okay. 
So ladies too, you can apply this with a brush. Some, when I'm applying to other people, it's easier with a brush. When you're doing it for yourself at home, you can just do it with your eye. It's very easy. You can go all the way up to your brow bone. You want the whole area nice and neutral. And you'll see the difference between the two, especially like in this little area that Aunt Nancy has that redness from the surgery. I just wanna go over that and make it as nice and neutral as possible. So Nick, you said, do you mean with your finger you can put that on too? Yeah, you would you just meant? swirl it on with, you know, in the pot and then mm -hmm. put it on your eyes because you can really get into like all the little crevices, mm -hmm. just that usually co coming at you from this angle, it's a little bit, you know, um, a little awkward. The brush is easier for me. So mm -hmm. you'll see ladies that she has the neutralized eye here. I'm gonna do a little bit closer to the lash line. And then that, this is what the eye looks like without it. So you can see the difference of how dramatic it does. And if you have a lot of color or pigment into your lips and you want to neutralize that, you can put it right over your lips also. So this is um, a great product to incorporate, close, incorporate into your skincare, your, your makeup routine that really does, a really gives you a big impact. This turned to me a second. All right, I'm gonna be using our travel set brush. I created this because it's easy. They're short brushes. This is something that you would you travel all the time. So it's mm -hmm. nice to have something that you're not like, where are all my brushes? One's long, one's short, doesn't fit into my makeup kit. So I did this so it would be easy. And this happens to fit your eyeshadow, your three well palette. Oh, wow. So it's just all here. You don't have to think about it. That's the whole, you wanna make it easy. We don't like thinking. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have created this palette here for Aunt Nancy. It's called Naughty Nancy. There's going to be more of the reasoning behind that um, palette name later. But these are beautiful three colors um, that are going to be more. They're on the sheen. They have a little bit of sheen, but it's also in the plums and it's going to be really pretty. And I thought that um, this was just really her personality. So I'm going to just take this lightest one here and we're going to go just a little bit on the brow bone. I'm gonna take the little contour brush here. I'm gonna go into the middle color and it's just like a really nice, soft, kind of plummy. It's really just very pretty. It's gonna liven up Aunt Nancy's eyes. Just gonna to come together. And you know, I really like this palette because it is like an everyday. You can make this more if you want to. You can make this less. It's really up to you and how you apply it. I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna, I just wiped off everything that I had on it. I'm gonna go into the darker color here and I'm just going to go on the outside. I'm just gonna, just gonna stipple a little bit of the darker color on the outside here and then I'm gonna go back in and, and really work it into to the eye area. I'm gonna have to watch the video to, so I can do it myself. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so I'm just going to work just this, like kind of like a little V in the corner here, just so it's nice and blended. So I'm using Cactus. This is an actual eyeliner I haven't used. It's more on the, it's, it, it is a cactus-y color, but it's more slate. Remember we were talking about like the grays? Mm -hmm. it's, it is, it has a little bit, See, wow. isn't it pretty? I didn't want to use a dark chocolate on you because I know that you like more of the slate color, but it has like almost, because your eye color is greenish blue, so it's going to pick up a hint of that, um, and it's waterproof. Waterproof is very important. Waterproof is really important for your eyes since they're always watering, but mm -hmm. also this is nice and creamy. It's not going to drag, so you feel that it's not dragging on your actual lid, which is really important. I'm staying really, really close to your lash line and just tapering it down in here. So you get a nice definition to the eye. All right, so I just did a little liner on the bottom just to give her some nice structure, some nice outline. We're gonna then 
deal with that and use some yes, concealer. Yes, right. <laughs> so I have a three well, this is warm front. This is a three well concealer palette. I thought it was really great because some days you might not be as dark, some days you might not be as red. You have an option, you can mix the colors together, pick your, your, your custom formulation, or you can just pick one that's like the lightest. You're like, oh, you know what? Mm. I'm going out Saturday. I don't need a lot. Let me mm -hmm. just do that. So this is really nice. I'm gonna just use a brush. You can use your hands too to warm it up and put it on, but um, it'll be a nice uh, little concealer. A little tip with my concealer and how I apply it is that I go from the inner corner of the eye straight down towards the end of your nose, the corner of your nose here, and then I go back up to the corner of the eye. So it's almost like a little triangle. And Nancy was talking about how she has a little pigmentation, you know, on these areas here from the radiation. So it's not gonna be just covering underneath the eye area. I like to highlight where the, the light would naturally hit your face, which is on that cheek, so it looks more natural. For her foundation, I'm going to be using the Ever. This is the new foundation they just launched. This is a light neutral. I really like the coverage on this, and I um, it goes on really, really pretty and gives you coverage, but also it gives you more of a semi-matte. So it's not a matte finish, it's not super dewy, but um, it just really looks nice and smooth on the skin. You can use your hands, you can use a brush, you can use a sponge. Just depends on what you like to use. There's really no rules. You can bring it down from the chin onto the neck area so it's all blended in. You don't have any line of demarcation, but you shouldn't have a line of demarcation, ladies, if you're using the right color on your skin. That should seamlessly go into your skin and not look like you're wearing foundation. So I'm using Dr. Pericone's No Makeup Makeup Mascara. So that is what I'm gonna be using. Usually I would do the mascara right after I did the eyes, but today, you know what, why not mix it up, right? So just look down. So I want to always get at the base, I kind of do like a little flicking like this. I want the base and then come up to the top. So I'm really coating the lashes. So we have mascara, we have really pretty eyes on, and I'm gonna just do a little bit of cheeks. This is called a color jam. I'm just going to, I haven't used this color before, and I just think it just goes really, really nicely with this color combo. Still in the kind of the same family. It's very jammy, if you will. It's very wine, red wine, beautiful cheekies. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thought that would be the keyword for you. <laughs> um, speaking of lips, I'm gonna use the Organza Lip Liner. This is waterproof also, again, which is nice. It's long lasting, just a little bit of definition. This is my favorite lip pencil to use because it basically goes with everything that I use. And if it's a little bit darker than what I'm using, like lip color, I'll just do it really light and then kind of go over my lips like this. But I definitely want to have that, that definition on my lips. Now I picked out this, this is gonna be your lipstick, so I'm gonna use it from the tube, but this is- be mine? Yeah, this is called Actually I Can, and I felt like it was very appropriate for your story, and you know, that's why I've developed some of these lipsticks that I have, like Fearless, Beauty Reinvented, and Actually I Can just made sense to me, because actually you didn't think you could, but you oh, did. Oh. You got through your life challenge, and when you wear this and you see it, you can say, actually, I can handle this. Actually, I can do this today. And that's really what my channel's about, my beauty's about, my cosmetic line is about, because it gives you that positive mantra, and we're all dealing with something. So I thought it was, when I saw it, I was like, this is nice and pinky. It's a little bit more color for you. And it's high gloss, so it's not matte.
Mm -hmm. that? Words like fearless and fierce, I mean, they really are empowering. Mm -hmm. It is, and when you say them, I mean, you really believe mm -hmm. that in what mm -hmm. you're saying. I'm just gonna do a little uh, pink lady over it. I just want a little bit of this kind of rosy bronze just looks so pretty just in the center again this is my aunt's lip gloss so I'm using it from the tube um, it's just so pretty it just gives a youthful look youthful dewiness to the lip but not too much it's really pretty I can put a little bit more blush on actually come back a little bit more just a little bit just just depends we have a lot of lights going on in the studio so sometimes it reads a little bit more a little bit less for me and one other thing that I want to show you ladies is the eye brightener. It's easy because it's in this little, it's a little twist up, right? So Bra you know that- Brightener. Yeah, it's a brightener. So in that area, you know, that you feel like it's a little bit darker in this mm -hmm. area here, I'm just going to, at the end, I want this to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going just where you, you know, it's like the nose creates a shadow on this area, and especially with the little kind of scar tissue incision here where we had it. I'm just going to put a little there, you know, just, just anywhere I want, not, you know, we always have redness around the nose area, just a little highlight. And then I'm just gonna take a sponge and just, I don't wanna move the product too much cause I still want it to stay light in there. But that's like at the end, I wanna just brighten anything I see that I just wanna brighten up. So you put it on and then you sort of tap it in. Just a little bit, yeah. Cause you don't wanna move the product mm -hmm. off. So it's tap, tap on yeah. the, mm -hmm. just stop. All right, so with my makeup application with my Aunt Nancy, I've kind of moved all around, which is not my normal kind of protocol, but we have the brows left, and I really wanted to use the brow boosting peptides and fibers on her because she I don't need to pencil them in. She has beautiful brows. They're just light. A little bit of grays are speckled through. So I'm going to take this little, it's like a little mascara wand. See how cute that is? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just go over your brows to give you a little bit more color and cover up any of the grays. So it's, it's a liquid? Yeah, it's like it's like a little um like almost like mascara consistency, but it's going to add definition. Like if you don't have that many brows, mm -hmm. and you can hit the skin a little bit, so it's going to actually give you the look like you penciled them in, but you just did it with this little wand. I love it, because I saw these little silvers in your brows, and I was like, oh, you know what? Pencil's not gonna cover those up. I this... usually pull them out. No, don't pull them out. Then you're then you're gonna have any brows. Well, that's what I always yeah, tell. eventually, yeah. <laughs> I always tell, that's what I used to do with my gray hair. I was like, oh, here we go, and I kept pulling them oh, out. And me then, too. Then I was like, I'm not gonna have, I'm gonna have like a bald oh, spot. So I just too. let it come in. Well. Well, that's another thing. Ladies, I had the gray stripe and I let it come out because of my aunt. Because you because see, we have it on the same side. The this same is, exact place. Yep. It was really, it was funny. Same side. So yep. that's why yep. I, I. Mine started at 28. When did yours start? Uh, 21. Whoa. But I let it come out 34. Yeah, she <laughs> hit it. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, I've completed her look. I think it looks really nice and fresh. And ladies, this is not, my channel is not about how much makeup I can put on my my clients, my models, my family. It's about showing your skin through it, being beautiful, being confident, but feeling really pretty. And, um, and natural. And natural, mm -hmm. and natural. And I think it just, it just enhances. It's all about enhancing. It's not about covering up. That's just been my whole philosophy. So I'm gonna show you what you look like and I want you to, to tell me what you think. Keep it to the side so they don't see your <laughs> what do you think? I like it. You do? I do. All right, so I just taught Aunt Nancy how to put on lashes herself. She did it herself. She's never done it before. We used the trio clusters from Ardell. And now we're coming back to her full look. So now when I finish the lashes, actually, let me have you look at them mm -hmm. and see what you think about your beautiful wow. lashes you did. So oh, it what? changes oh, yeah. the look, yeah. right? Yeah. So you feel... My, I have eyes. Yes. <laughs> So now what I'll do is, now that we have the lashes on, a little bit darker around the eye, I'll add in some more blush, I'll do a little bit more lip gloss, and we'll do some more eyeliner. Because at the top line, the left eye is not as 
perfect as the right when she applied, but she's right-handed. So that's to be expected and then you'll get better. But we'll just do a little mm -hmm. bit of eyeliner so we can kind of fuse the whole thing together. See, I actually Complete. like that. So ladies, again, what are we doing? We're doing fierce, unapologetic, bold, fearless, fearless makeup. And until my next video, I'll see you later.